Uh, today we had our open house and ribbon cutting at Station 5 and our dedication to uh, Kay Duran. Uh, Station 5 is named after her in her honor and um, we're, we're proud of LaGrange Fire Department to have her, her name on the station. And we're going to just kind of take you through the station and, and, and do a, uh, a, a tour of, of our facility uh, so you can you know, we'll welcome you into, into our house. We're going to start upstairs first. Our, our stairwell is exterior. We're in the bay on this side. We do have an exterior stairwell on the other side as well. But every day we'll have, we'll have four people at the station um, and we'll have uh, four bedrooms. So this is just our standard bedroom here. Uh, we have a bed. Each person has their own closet that will be designed for them. They have their own key so they can get in their closet. Uh, just show you in there real quick. And thankful to uh, Walmart DC, we had. TV is donated uh, for training purposes and they can uh, watch TV at, at night at their leisure. Uh, this is just the bathroom here. We, ha we do have four bathrooms on this, uh, on this floor. Uh, just another bedroom. As we come on through the hall, we got, we got another bedroom and we'll kind of go through this bedroom here. Um, and we have a Jack and Jill bathroom between these two bedrooms here. We do have five bedrooms up here. There's only four people, so one bedroom is, uh, is vacant at this time. So for future growth, we'll put another bedroom in here. So this is our exterior stairwell. As you see, we got a beautiful view here. Show our yard here. We can we can exit a fire exit from the from the exit top floor. This is our our deputy chief bedroom, shift commander, and he does have his own bathroom. Uh, this is a workstation here. During the day, the uh, engine crew will be downstairs, um, but at night, um, if they had to do fire reports, incident reports, they can do them here. And we have this is our deputy chief office, and he will be he will be stationed here during the day, being able to uh, work out of this office. Uh, this is our day room kitchen area. As you look over here, we got our, our, our cabinets. Uh, each battalion will have their own set of, of cabinets to keep their supplies in um, each day. So they got plenty of, plenty of room there to, to, uh, to keep their supplies. If you kind of uh, spin around here, this is where our, our fire pole is. This pole came from old station one that was located on, on Main Street that was, that was uh, built in 1976. So we brought that with us to, uh, 
for people to see, for us to have quick access to the to the fire trucks, and uh, and this is a you know public education and, and, and public um, the people love to see the, this pole here. So we we try to we brought this back one for history and one for just the uh, appeal for the public. We're gonna go ahead and slide down the pole now. All right, this is just go to the foyer area. Um, going in to the office downstairs. Like I said, for uh, ADA compliance, you have to offer the same thing um, downstairs that you, that you do upstairs. So during the day, the crews will be downstairs. So if anybody comes up from the public, they can have access to it. So the officer of the station will be located in this office. Um, we actually have a buzzer that will unlock the front door. When, when somebody comes up, we visualize who it is, and make sure it's, it's safe, and then we'll, uh, we, can, we can buzz them in. This is another office here. This is where the uh, two firefighters will be uh, stationed during the day. And that's just a storage room back there in the back. This is just a, a janitor closet here. And then we'll go out to the uh, back covered patio. Just somewhere, somewhere I can sit and relax in the even times in the shade. Skip Smith from the Smith Design Group designed this station. We took him our ideas and, uh, and he's architect on the job and, and, and put it all together for us. And in principal construction, uh, they, they built, the, built, built the building. Um, Leon Moody and um, Mike Ross was the, uh, the foreman on the job and him and his crew did an amazing job for us. So now we'll go into the uh, to the gear room. Uh, kind of empty right now. Um, this will, this will fill up as we as we get. You know, every day this is, we're just opening the, today, so everybody's gear. They're working the days on the truck already. Uh, one firefighter brought his gear over here, and as we move along the next two days, we'll everybody else will put their gear in here. We talked about the state-of-the-art uh, facility, the look of the building, but also the flow of the building and making sure that we kept all the, the dangerous stuff out, outside the living quarters of the, of the, of the fire station. Um, so all this is secluded, so our, our bunker gear, it off gases at certain temperatures, so we want to make sure that it's a, um, a, a constant cool temperature in here, that way our gear don't give off uh, contaminants um, to uh, you know, cancer causing contaminants. So we want to make sure that's included. We also have a decon area where if we run a bad call, we can come here and get cleaned up. That's what this area is for here. We have uh, some lockers here that they can keep their personal effects in so they can get showers down here as well. And um, so we also have a uh, gear extractor uh, right there. This is where we wash all our gear. After every fire or every hazmat call we run, firefighters have to wash their gear in this. And then uh, every six months, no matter what. Um, but we, we never go six months without a fire, so it gets washed a lot, lot sooner than that. But this is, a, uh, this is specially made to, to do that. This is our workout room. Uh, one thing we, we pride ourselves at LaGrange Fire Department is, 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 is training, making sure that we are, are trained to the highest level. And also part of that is making sure that we're in shape, better do our job and uh, when the time calls for it. So we want to make sure that they have the equipment, proper equipment to, uh, to do that. Also it's air conditioned and heated 
So in the summertime you can be cool, in the wintertime you can be warm in here working out. So that was a nice element for the firefighters. We'll exit out and go into the fire, to the bay. Just as I talked about before, this is the exhaust systems that will be hooked up to the um, exhaust pipe of the, of the engine company. When the truck cranks up, it automatically cuts on, taking all the exhaust out through the system. That way, contaminants are, are, uh, are kept out of the bay and they don't seep into our living quarters. As the engine pulls away, this will go about that far and it'll release. So just making sure that, that we're keeping our firefighters safe. Um, as you see over here, we got a monitor out here on the, on the wall here. What our IT department in the city has done is they will we will have, as the call comes out, we'll have all the 911 information on this screen here. And uh, it will give us all the dispatcher notes. And it will actually also have a, a countdown clock for a turnout time. A turnout time for the fire department is from the time we receive the call to the time we go en route. And, and we want to reduce that time as much as possible. We thought that, and we do a good job of getting to the trucks as quick as possible, but we thought that putting a, a countdown clock on that would actually help um, you know, speed the guys up even more. And uh, you know, we're, we're pretty competitive folks and uh, we want to make sure those times are, are, are low as possible so we can get the people to help them in their time of need. Uh, thank you for joining us today uh, through our virtual tour and uh, we hope that uh, anytime you're in the neighborhood you want to swing by and see the, this fire station or see our firefighters or see the fire trucks, bring your kids, uh, bring yourself whatever you need and come by and see us and we'll be happy to see you. Thank you. 803 901. 803. Station 5 is now in service. Thank you, Bob. In first, Tom is for 14.